got Shane Storms with DroidModRacks.com and MSkip has developed the Nexus Toolkit for the Nexus 10. This allows us to do all sorts of awesome things with just one or two simple clicks. Uh, no more ADB commands and no more fast boot. We can do it all through the Nexus 10 Toolkit. just makes everything very easy and very user friendly. So today I'm going to show you guys how to unbreak your device, unroot your device, factory reset your device and relock it uh, all with one simple little step. So what we'll need to do here is go ahead and head into settings. We need to install our drivers before we do anything else. So we'll go into settings and about tablet and go to this build number and just click it until the developer options shows up. You'll click developer options and make sure USB debugging is checked. Then you'll go ahead and plug your Nexus 10 into your PC. Your computer will recognize that it's been plugged into the Nexus 10 and the drivers will automatically install. Once that's completed, we're going to put the device into fast boot mode. So we will just hold both volume buttons and the power at the same time until it reboots into fast boot mode. Okay, so this is where you want your device to be in fast boot mode. Once we're in fast boot mode, we're going to go ahead and open up the Nexus 10 Toolkit. So we'll head to the computer. So you want to head to the link in the description and grab the Nexus 10 Toolkit. It's going to be in an EXE form. So all you have to do is double click it and the installation wizard will pop up. You'll install it to your computer and it will provide you with a clickable icon on the desktop. So what you want to do is go ahead and open that up. Okay, so once that opens up, it's going to ask if you want to update it. You can update it if you've purchased the donated version. If you've downloaded it for free from the link in the description, you won't be able to update it here. I do suggest that you go ahead and up and uh, donate to MSkip for this awesome development. He's not only done this for the Nexus 10, but also all the other Nexus devices. And he puts a lot of time and effort into it, and he does fix all the bugs. Uh, so you probably do want to go ahead and purchase that donate version. If you have it, you can go to yes here, or if you don't, you can check his XDA thread. He'll have all the updates posted there for free. Uh, so we'll just go no for now and click enter. It's asking what version of Android are you on. So we're on 4.2.0, so we'll select 1. And then what we want to do today is we're going to download, extract, and flash the Google factory stock image. Now that's going to unbrick us if we're bricked. That's going to restore us to factory settings if say we want to return the device for warranty purposes and we just want to take it to the out of the box state. That's what this option is going to do. So we're going to select number nine. It says we can either download the Google stock image or we can flash the Google factory image uh, if we already have it downloaded. So we need to download it. So we'll click number one and number one for Android 4.2.0. Okay, so that's going to start the download process and it should take about 15 minutes. So I'm going to pause it here and as soon as it finishes, we'll continue with the guide. Okay, so when it's finished, you'll see that it says that it is complete. It says your image is now ready for flashing. Your device must be in fast boot mode, which it already is. We did that earlier. And then it says, do you want to flash the image now? We'll type yes and select enter and it's telling us to make our choice it says that uh, this is going to wipe your data completely if you're rooted before it's obviously going to unroot you since you are flashing the stock image uh, so make sure you do any backups that you need to do because this will also wipe your internal storage uh, so if you have anything backed up there you'll need to back it up to your PC first before you run this uh, obviously if you're bricked then that's probably not going to matter you just want to get your device working again so we'll go ahead and make our choice We'll Say yes and type enter. And now it should go ahead and flash the stock image. Okay, so when it finishes flashing the system, it's going to say operation complete. And it's now rebooting into the Android OS for setup. This may take a while uh, because it did just wipe the entire system. Um, we go ahead and let it boot into the operating system. And then if you want to relock the device... You'll need to boot back into fast boot, and then I'll show you guys which option to select. Uh, we'll go to the main menu, uh, pressing enter, and we just want to select the option number three to unlock or relock your bootloader. And then it gives you the two options. Uh, one is unlock bootloader, two is relock bootloader. If you want to send it back to the factory, 
for warranty purposes, you want to make sure the bootloader is relocked. So you would select number two uh, once you're back into Fastboot. So once you've booted into the Android system, you'll hold both volume buttons and the power until it reboots into the Fastboot mode. Then you can select option number two. That will relock your bootloader. But anyways, guys, this has been how to unbrick, unroot, relock, and restore your Nexus 10 to factory settings. You can check me out at droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you in any way. Click the subscribe button right about there. And thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. So this box from the front is very reminiscent of the Droid Bionic box. You see the little eye there in the center. Uh, of course the Droid DNA logo below. If we turn the box around...